people, how are you today? The sun is shining in London, which always makes me smile. I'm about to do a Facebook Live at Mumsnet. If you don't know Mumsnet, give them a Google there. Um, a bunch of brilliant people, very, very powerful, and I'm gonna be doing a Q&A on their Facebook at 1.30 to answer all things baking and beyond. And um, I just thought I'd share with you how to do this look. It's almost a look you can take from day into night. So you've got a kind of a smoky eye, but they're not too dramatic for work. And sometimes if I'm feeling like just chilling, I wanna do something relaxing, I put makeup on even if I'm not going out. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you this look. Urban Decay sent me um, their Ultimate Basics palette and I was pleasantly surprised. Sometimes I find that eyeshadows they either don't stay on or the colors aren't, the pigment isn't really strong. But with this, I found it was really, really good. So this makeup look is relatively quick to put together. So I'm gonna talk you through how to do it. And um, it's about finding the right colors for you, but I'll talk you through it within this palette or, or whatever. But yeah, come and get ready with me for my everyday look. So I'm just dabbing this, I'm using this brush. I'll put what everything is underneath. Dabbing that underneath. And the thing about this makeup that I'm using is by a brand called Vault Cosmetics and it's in the States. You can buy it here online, they have a supplier here. Really reasonably priced. You don't need loads and loads of powder on it. And I'm just working it in predominantly on this area of my face. And then any other discolorations, I can just, uh, you know, blend in. So I'm just blending this together, and if you prefer using your fingers or one of those sponges, that's fine too. I do like using this. And then I've got a slightly darker here, so I just wanna make sure that I've got all everything pretty much an even color. And then just blending again on the jawline. And I like it for all skins, for dry and for oily. So I'm just making sure that that's blended in. Next I'm using the Urban Decay and I am going to use the colour Extra Bitter. So the key for this, no matter what your skin tone, is to find a, an eyeshadow that's kind of like your colour. So I'm going to use this Extra Bitter on my lids. So I'm just pushing this on my actual eyelid and a little bit higher above the crease as well. And this is kind of like my foundation um, colour, the foundation for the, the, the look. So it's quite a neutral colour, it's almost just sort of my tone, I've got a little bit more red in. And if your skin is pale, you just want to find, a t uh, you want quite a neutral colour for a base. And this extra bitter, for me, it just works really nicely. So that's my base colour. Now next, I want to do my lids. So I want a lighter colour on my lids to make my eye pop. And for this, I'm using a mixture of Tempted and Extra Bitter for my eye. Tempted and Extra Bitter, and I'm just dabbing it on the lid. so not as high up as I did the darker colour. And then I'm gonna get tempted. I'm gonna get tempted. Ooh. And dab it over the top so it gets lighter. So I'm kind of building the colours. Next, I wanna give my eye some depth. So I've got the base colour, I've got the eye shadow colour, and now I wanna give my eye some depth, some real depth. And for that, again, from the Naked palette, I'm gonna use Lethal. And I just want to go slightly above the crease, slightly above the crease, and in the corner. And I'm making sure that you want to make sure that you don't go over that line. If you do, it's okay, you can just go over it with some foundation. So I'm just putting a little bit there to give some depth. 
I'll smudge that in in a minute and I'll just do the other side. And then I'm putting the lethal in there. Right, so if it was not rubbed in, it would look like this. If it was not blended in, rather. Like that. That's the kind of thing. So I've almost got a triangle there. A triangle there. I bought it in about halfway. Like that. And now I just need to blend it. And this is the brush that comes with the palette for this. I just want to blend it in. It's all about the blend. And then what I like to do is go again over the eye another time with the Tempted to lighten it even more. I've done my eyeshadow and now I'm going to do just a small uh, black line. Nothing major, I'm not going to do a cat's eye. So I'm using this um, Atelier eyebrow colour. I'm not an eyebrow queen, just want to make them look good for this uh, Facebook Live. Okay, and now I am going to do my lashes. I've got Ardell Demi Wispy, my favourite. And I like to use Duo Lash Glue and I like, like to use black. So I just put some glue on the lash and now let's get close and personal. And then it's always important I find to let the lash glue dry a little bit before you stick it on so it goes a bit tacky. <laughs> Lashes make such a difference because my lashes are uber short. Ooh, we're almost there. I'm going to use uh, some blush. This is Blush on Rouge Sparkle Peach by Vault. I will put the links underneath. you've got two eye your eyebrows are twins mine not twins my eyebrows are sisters they are nothing like each other they're completely different you see I don't really like to go in for too much contouring and stroping and all of this I just want to get ready I want to take what 20 minutes to do my makeup in the morning and get ready and then go and then with the mascara I don't put it on the ends because then it sticks the lashes together I just put it underneath <laughs> And then when you put it underneath on your lashes, it gives like a darkness, more sultry darkness. And remember, if you are going out wearing lashes for the day, always take your tweezers with you and spare glue. Because a little bit of a tear, if you get a bit sad or happy laughing and a tear comes out, that the lashes do sometimes come a bit unstuck. That's my everyday look, but I might be going out later. I hope you like it. So guys, if you've liked this makeup tutorial, please do uh, comment in the box below. I love doing makeup. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. It's just the way I do it. <laughs> I'm sure other people have got other ways of doing things. But to me, it makes me feel more confident. It makes me feel I'm ready for business. And it's also, I find it incredibly therapeutic even if I am not going out. Do comment in the box below, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and share the video with someone you might think will like this. I'll put all the links to the products below and I'll speak to you very soon. Big love.